Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Yield Max ETF just changed the distribution schedule. So if you go to the news section over here, you can see that on September 12, a new distribution schedule was announced. So let's open this thing up. It's a long one, there's two worries. So I'm not going to bore you with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze it for you. So let's take a look at this thing first over here. Let's take a look at the new payment date. If you look at this date, one thing you will notice, right? Okay, let's take a look at this. October 4, 11, 18, 25. What does this really mean? Okay, here it is October 4, 11, 18, 25. What does that mean is these are the weekly dates. So if you look at this schedule, the new payment date, it means the dividend might be coming into your account faster than I would say Amazon packages or FedEx delivery. Well, that, that's just a joke. That's on the lighter side. But let's take a look at it, folks. Let's do this analysis on this schedule and see what does this really mean? Is this just some few more dates in your calendar? Or is this just really a sweet financial deal that you can benefit from that? So let's take a look. Here's what I'm going to do over here. Over. I'm going to go through these dates, see what this mean, and what are some of the advantages and disadvantages is, and what are some of the strategies that we can use to maximize the gain. So let's look at this press release over here first. Now, if you look at this distribution schedule, now let's take a look at, start with the declaration date. Looking at this declaration date, let's take a look at this. 2, 9, 16, 23, 30, 16, 13. What does this really mean? Let's open the calendar up. Okay, October 2, 9, 16, 23, 30. What that means is, <coughs> excuse me, every Wednesday before the market open, the distribution for that ETF will be, you know, every Wednesday. And what is the next thing? And then you have the X dividend date, which is next day falling day, right? So I'm going to pick the October 2nd. Okay, let's take a look. October 2nd is the declaration date. October 3rd is the X dividend date. And next October 4th is payment date. Same over here. 9 is the declaration date. 10 is the X dividend date. 11 is the payment date. What does that really mean if looking at the calendar? That going forward, every Wednesday, distribution will be announced. Thursday, the stock <coughs> excuse me, will trade without the benefit of dividend. And the Friday you will get payments every week. So Wednesday will be the date distribution announced and the Friday you'll get payment. Now, if you look at this, YMAX, YMAG is on every single week, right? So what that means is YMAX and YMAG will be the weekly distribution. Now, the rest of them, right? Then you have what? Group A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and same. So what that means is all the other ETF has been staggered into four different groups. If you own Tesla or Google GOY or TSMY, that's a group A, right? That, that means you'll get a payment on group A1. If you own NVIDIA or JP Morgan, that's group B, right? Connie, group C, Mesty, MZ, group D. So each ETF is distributed into four different groups. So this is what is going to happen, right? So, so you have four different groups. So YMAX, YMAG will be on a weekly basis and all others are staggered into the four different groups. What does that mean? That means every Wednesday, some ETF distribution will be announced and every Friday you'll be getting payment. It, it depends which one do you really have, right? So that's what's going to be, right? So what I'm going to do in this video is explain as I just explained to you the new distribution schedule and see how can we maximize this. Now the question is, okay, is this just a date change or something that we can benefit from it? So let's take a look at some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages, some of the pros and some of the cons. What are some of the advantages of this? Well, if you really look at it, since you're getting paid on a weekly basis, so you have faster cash to cash flow, right? Every week, every Friday, you're getting some dividend. It depends which one do you own, you'll be getting dividend on week after week basis. Now, since you're getting it on a weekly basis, you have more flexibility for reinvestment. I'll come back in a second to see if reinvestment is a good strategy or just cashing it out. And then, you know, you have a very smooth flow of money coming every week and you can actually capitalize on whatever you have. So, so pretty much, if you really look at the benefits, you have a faster access to cash on a weekly basis. Now, what is the disadvantage of that? Now, obviously, 
if you're getting it on a weekly basis, it's YMAX and YMAY, the payout is not going to be as big as the monthly one, right? I mean, it's going to be staggered or break down into four different ones. And that will be a lot smaller. So it may not look that big, even though the number will be the same, but on the perception wise, it may have some psychological impact on that. It's not that big. For the rest of them, you know, the amount will be pretty much the same what you were getting before, but it's just that you will be getting on a weekly basis for some of them, right? So it depends which of the ETF you hold. So now the question is, the biggest question for you is, are these just some change in the calendar date? Or what is the best strategy to do that? So that is not the scope of this uh, video. So I'm trying to keep this video very short. Just explain to that what the new distribution schedule is, how you can benefit from that. But if you really want to know what are some of the best strategy for the yield max ETF is, I have a few videos right, in which I explain in detail the buy and hold strategy where you buy it and you hold it. And on a monthly basis and a weekly basis, you just keep getting distribution as a payment. And then the second strategy is when you receive it, the dividend or distribution, you have two options. You can either cash out or you can reinvest it. And then this, the third thing is flipping around, right? You just you just buy it before the date of distribution and sell it after the payment is made. So there's so many different strategies. Is all the strategy same? Is everything make you money? I don't think so. If you really want to know in details, please visit my, my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my channel. And look at all the videos I have that I explain in detail what those strategies are, how it works, and I perform a detailed mathematical calculation. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to share, subscribe, like, comment, and see you soon with some other videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.